What's up guys, welcome to another scratch tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to make dope thumbnails. Well, if you don't know, a thumbnail is um, um, the project web page that you will see. Um, for example, this is a thumbnail, these are thumbnails created by the scratcher. So the way you make thumbnails is um, that you leave the project with the thumbnail. Let me show you how it works. So right now you see my project looks like th looks like this, right? Now I'm going to show my enemy. I'm going to move it here. I'm going to have my player. I'm going to move it here. Then I'm going to click save now. Well, what this will do is that it will create this page that everyone will see. Well, to demonstrate it, go to my projects and look here. Our enemy AI project now shows this, right? So basically the way it works that it just shows Whatever you have um, created on this place the last time um, Scratch saved. All right. Um, here is a new game I am developing, and I have created a thumbnail for it. Let me show you the thumbnail. This is the thumbnail, all right? Now, I'll teach you a couple of key elements that will help you create a good thumbnail that attracts um, people. The first thing is um, the design itself, right? Um, you want to have a engaging title. Mine is Retronic, and um, you want to make sure it stands out. So um, sometimes you might also want to get some cool fonts. I'll show you here. Um, here, me as a president, um, Jupiter. You see, these fonts are very standing out and cool. Um, those can usually attract things. For example, what's that button do when I try to record? Stuff like that. Um, yeah, and you see a lot of them have very cool fonts, right? Now, the way they do that is that they go to a website, for example, cooltext.com. All right, this website is called Cool Text, and it basically helps you generate um, text that you can use in your thumbnail. So, um, anyway, um, I created this thumbnail with pixel art, so, um, yeah. The second element is to show what is happening in um, your game or um, whatever project it is. For example, in Jupiter, they have these spikes, right? So immediately you think, oh, this game's going to be about jumping over spikes. Oh, 2x gravity. Oh, that's going to be fun. Stuff like that. And um, let me show you some more examples. Street ball. Oh, I see a football. It's And there's a net. Maybe I have to shoot it in there. Oh, cool. Um, You want to kind of give the, um, the um, viewer an idea of what your game is about. Um, for example, this one I really like. Um, it shows two giants and um, two really cool um, wizards. And it shows off all of these features in the game, which will help attract the viewers. And if I click in there, you'll see that the product should get a decent amount of views. For example, 47,000. That's um, quite good. That's really good. Um, my own record was like around 100,000 for, e for one project. Um, anyway, the third element is to um, make sure that your project is, um, you know, called something very interesting. All right. Um, now, let me try to give you an example. What if I told you this game was called Jump? Um, would you be excited? Um, probably. Well, what if I call this, um, let's say, Hurdle Hell? Well, immediately, it um, gives a specific... Um, you know, a specific title, which is more attractive. And um, in turn, people will um, want to see your project. And um, by the way, let me show you some techniques I use to build my thumbnail. All right, here I have the, um, the branding or the logo for my project, the text. And next, I have everything. These art assets are all from the game itself. Um, when you play the game, you'll have these assets. Then you just paste them in there, for example. Click here, you say copy, go here, paste, boom. Then you just resize it, since mine is pixel art, it's very small. Then you just place it in here, whatever. You want to build your thumbnail in um, vector, because it's easier to move things around. Um, anyway, you might also want to create these um, effects, which you can use with the gradient, for example. Click here, go here, click on this gradient icon thing, and make this NA, so it kind of fades to darkness. Now, you see I used... 
two of them here. I used one for my logo because if you delete this, you see it doesn't stand out that much, right? It doesn't stand out. But if you have that, it kind of gives more contrast so the player can see it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try talk louder now because my computer is whirring. Um, anyway, um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Let me sum it up. So, step one, um, make sure to include a very um, bright and um, attractive um, branding or logo of um, your project. Two, include um, the art assets you have in there. Show some action, which you can see now. Um, this computer shooting a laser at this guy. There's a bullet here. Um, show some action. And three, make sure your game is called something cool, not something lame or whatever. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. Um, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for um, more Scratch tutorials.